Does oral hyaluronic acid supplements actually help with arthritis? Many people take it hoping for pain relief, but what does the research actually say? Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. I'm a sports medicine physician practicing in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I specialize in helping people manage arthritis and joint pain using the latest evidence-based research. I get a lot of great questions in my video comments, so this Q&A series is meant to break down your top questions with clear science-backed answers. As always, these are actual questions from my viewers, so if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments. Doctor, are hyaluronic acid supplements worth considering? How about hyaluronic acid as a supplement? What is your opinion of taking hyaluronic acid for osteoarthritis as a supplement? Okay, so let's first answer the question, what is hyaluronic acid? Hyaluronic acid is a naturally occurring substance found throughout the body, but it's most concentrated in our joints, skin, and eyes. In the context of arthritis, it plays a critical role in joint health by helping to lubricate the cartilage and absorb shock. Think of it as the gel-like fluid that keeps your joints gliding smoothly. Hyaluronic acid injections have been studied extensively for the treatment of osteoarthritis and multiple clinical trials, systematic reviews, and meta-analyses have found that not only do they decrease pain and symptoms, they also have been shown to help slow down the progression of arthritis. But that brings us back to the question, can taking it by mouth through supplements do the same thing? So to answer that, let's take a closer look at the science. A 12-month randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study evaluated the effects of taking 200 milligrams of oral hyaluronic acid daily in people with knee osteoarthritis. Participants in both the treatment and placebo groups were also instructed to perform daily quadriceps strengthening exercises. This is a key part of managing arthritis symptoms. As expected, both groups improved over time, which is common in studies that include an active exercise component. But the group taking oral hyaluronic acid saw faster and more noticeable improvements, especially among participants under the age of 70. By the two and four month marks, this younger group reported significantly better scores in pain, stiffness, and day-to-day -day function. A 2024 systematic review adds more context to the discussion. The authors analyzed 11 clinical studies involving nearly 600 patients with either osteoarthritis or low back pain. In nine of these studies, Oral hyaluronic acid, sometimes used alone, but often combined with supplements like glucosamine, chondroitin, or collagen, was linked to improvements in pain, stiffness, joint function, and overall quality of life. Interestingly, a few studies also showed that oral hyaluronic acid helped reduce inflammation by lowering levels of cytokines such as IL-1 and IL-6. Perhaps just as important, Adverse effects were rare, and when they did occur, they were mild. Okay, so how is this even possible? Oral hyaluronic acid was once thought to be too large a molecule to survive digestion, but studies in both animals and humans have shown that fragments of hyaluronic acid can indeed be absorbed through the gut and may exert biological activity. One proposed mechanism involves HA interacting with toll-like receptors in the intestinal lining, potentially modulating immune signaling and reducing inflammation. There's also speculation that the breakdown products of HA, such as N-acetylglucosamine, may mimic the effects of glucosamine, and this has known anti-inflammatory and cartilage-protective properties. Still, the evidence is not perfect. Many of the studies vary in quality, dosage, and formulation. Some included HA alongside other joint supplements, making it difficult to isolate the effect of HA alone. And while younger patients and those with mild to moderate osteoarthritis appear to benefit the most, results are less consistent in older adults or those with more advanced arthritis. So is oral hyaluronic acid worth trying? It might be, especially if you're under 70, have mild to moderate osteoarthritis, and are already committed to a daily exercise program. It's not going to be a miracle cure, but it appears to be safe, 
generally well tolerated and potentially effective as part of a comprehensive arthritis management plan. So with all that said, it's not in the top supplements that I recommend. There are other supplements out there with even more compelling evidence behind them. So check out this next video where I break down the best supplements for osteoarthritis backed by real clinical trials.